Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial for one of the most useful level design tools that I use in my project. It's just a box or cube, but with one big advantage. It scales and repositions itself based on this other point. Now I use this all the time when I need to make blockouts to then replace with higher poly stuff later in my level design process, but it's also extremely useful to use in the final game. As you can see, I use this a lot for making the platforms in this castle in my open world. It also works in Unreal Engine 5, as you can see we can make a, a quick sidewalk here matching right up next to all these nanite meshes. Alright, enough with the examples, I'm going to show you how to make this thing. All I gotta do is right click, go to blueprint class, and make a new actor blueprint. I'll just call this cube underscore BP. Alright, once you have that open, you want to go over here and add a new cube component. You can change the material of it to whatever you like. We want to go into the construction script drop down the cube and do set relative location. Hook this up right into there. You want to promote this to a new variable. I'll call mine end. And then you're going to come over here and do instance editable and show 3D widget. That's what makes it actually show up in the viewport so you can drag it around. Once you have that, we actually want to disconnect this here and do a divide. And we need this to be a float, so we're going to type make literal float there it is plug that in and we want to divide it by two then we just plug that straight into there after that you want to take the same thing and do set relative 3d scale hook those up and then we want to get our end over here and get the absolute of this vector get abs there it is and then we want to divide this one also, but we want to divide this one by 100. So we'll take our make literal float, plug that in, and divide it by 100. And lastly, you want to click on your end here variable. You can even click on it over here. And you want to set its defaults to something that isn't zeros. I set mine to 100, so it's just the, the basic shape of the cube. Then compile and save, and that's it. You can drop this in the viewport, and it should be working. Let me grab this here. You can see we can drag this wherever we want, and we have this little cube. I can even turn off snapping so we can get smaller details. We could build walls and uh, even floors with this thing. And that's it. It's actually remarkably easy to create, and I hope you guys find this extremely useful during your level design process. Hopefully I'll be back soon with another tutorial, and until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.